when you start to sort of take all of this this footage, you, you mentioned earlier when we were talking, it was upwards of 1,200 hours, uh, and then you did shoot uh, a, a more. A, as you're going through and, and, and watching and trying to digest all of this, uh, what are some markers that you use to sort of uh, sort of set aside, you know, this is this is a moment that I would like to include later. This is something that, that absolutely has to be in. This is something that 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 would be of interest if we can sort of uh, fit it in somehow. What 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 steps do you go through to, to sort of pare that down? That's yeah. a good question, I think. I haven't heard that one yet. <laughs> he's he's smart. Um, <laughs> I think uh, you know it, the the sort of organizational process of of uh, sifting through that much footage is something that I've honed and in, in, in working with Seth Gordon, our, our producer on this movie. I worked on King of Kong with him and sort of learned a system and then have adapted it slightly. But it's something that is like I think the dirty little secret of documentary filmmaking is learning how to organize and quickly find your way back through. Uh, the, the mound of footage that you usually have to find a, a sound bite or a moment or a scene. Um, and so, yeah, as we were watching everything, um, we were sort of setting aside these, these moments of uh, scenes that we liked. Um, and then it became apparent very early on too that we were gonna have to stick to the sort of chronology of the footage as well because it was a degenerative disease and we wanted to take the audience on that that ride and that sort of watching the physicality uh, and the tiredness wash over everyone. Um, and so uh, we, you know, that sort of boxed us in in some places and actually in the end was a, was a help structurally to help pare things down. Were there moments that, that, uh, that eventually made it into the film, Michelle, that you in the moment realized like this is probably something that's going to, to sort of be part of the final story? Or, or was that not something you were even thinking about as, as, the, as, the, as things were going on? Yeah, no, I, um, it's interesting. I never thought about, really this project started as a project for Rivers, or for our son, or for our baby. We didn't know what it was, but um, it started as a project almost for Steve to be able to tell stories to our unborn child. And um, after that, we had these two guys that came on who became filming, who started filming us and we really, they were, became close friends and they helped caretake and they helped with rivers. And um, I really had no idea this project would get to be the size it is. I had no idea I'd be sitting in front of a crowd talking about it. So I never cared about what was being filmed and never thought, oh, this might be in the movie because I was just, I was too busy living like life. And it was weird that we were getting filmed, but it was just kind of like, oh, this is just something fun that's happening that Steve wants to do. And so I had no really idea that it would, it would come to this. So I, that's the that's kind of the cool part. That's why I think I was so open and honest because I didn't think something big like this would happen afterwards. 